Welcome back. In this final video in this series, we're going to finish this program by adding a cutoff tool and then making some minor adjustments to the program and then finally posting it to create the NC code. So to add the cutoff, the first thing we'll do is we're in the turning page over here in the general section. Click on cutoff. It'll ask you to select that boundary point you want to cut off. I'm going to scroll in and there you see the green cross. We're going to click on that and that'll open up this toolpath parameters page. We're going to scroll through here until we find the 1 8 inch wide right cutoff. And we'll click on the coolant and we'll change that to on. And we'll save that one. And we'll save that one. There, that's the correct one. We'll right click, we'll set it to fit, and that looks a lot better. Okay. So now we're ready to set, ready to verify this. But one of the things we want to do first, if you want to make changes, you go into the parameters page on any one of these. So let's go through the facing one. We'll click on the parameters, toolpath parameters. We're going to click on the coolant page on this one, add flood cooling to that one, save that, and save that. And we'll do this for each one of these parameters for the lathe roughing, the tool path. We'll turn the coolant on. Save and save. And in the finish turn, click on tool path again, coolant. So I have made all of the changes I want to make. We'll save out of that one. Now we're going to, up here in this box here, we're going to make sure that we've selected all of them. So we'll select all. We'll close this properties down by that one. Another way we could have chosen all of it is just to click on the toolpath and that would have checked all of these. So here we have the face, rough turn, finish turn, and the lathe cutoff. And we're good. Now the last thing we're going to do, we're going to backplot this. And we're going to verify it. So we click on verify. it's done loading. We're going to right click and hit fit so we can see it. There we see all the tools. And in the view page we could actually click on isometric view like we have in the past. Um, and I encourage you to play around with these settings in the uh, here to, to see the different things. You can look at two views so you get a top view, an isometric view. Look at them side by side if you wanted to. So you can look at all four views at one time. So if you hit the play button here, and what I want to do here, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this at each operation change. So now we'll hit play, and there you see it facing in all four views and it stopped because we had it set to stop at the operation change now it's going to rough so we'll run through there it'll rough all of those next we'll do an operation change it's going to finish turn and lastly it's going to cut off. 
and we're going to try to change the color of the operation so that we loop the colors so they will change for each turn now we'll verify this again we're going to go back to a single view and fit in fact I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger scroll that, that roll in and there's our facing there's our roughing slow this down a little bit go in there and there's finish turning and then last okay. so we're going to go ahead and fit we'll look at the top view again Fit, top view, and we're going to go ahead and close out of this one. This one, we'll hit the fit button again. There is our part. Now, to create the NC code, make sure everything is selected, which is toolpath. So, green check mark on all of the processes. And we'll just hit this post selected operations right here. We hit that, and it'll ask me if I want to uh, post this as an NC file. Yes, there's the extension. So we'll say OK. There we go. I found the save this we'll leave that program name for right now hit save and finally there is our completed program for this first part. At this point, we'll make sure we hit save. Everything looks good. We'll close out of that. And that completes this first series on the lathe. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously see me in class, and we'll be talking to you again soon.